So the next heading will be the nerve supply and blood supply of temporomandibular joint. So if we keep this diagram in your mind, we can derive the nerve supply very easily. Nerve supply of temporomandibular joint. So what about the nerve supply of temporomandibular joint? From anterior part we have mentioned the mesenteric nerves and vessels. So the mesenteric nerve will be going and supplying the temporomandibular joint from the anterior aspect and there will be one more nerve supplying the temporomandibular joint that is from the posterior relation that is the auriculotemporal nerve. So mesenteric nerve from the anterior aspect and auriculotemporal nerve from the posterior aspect these two will be supplying the temporomandibular joint. So nerve supply of temporomandibular joint we have two nerves mainly the mesenteric nerve and the auriculotemporal nerve. Now again the blood supply, blood supply of temporomandibular joint mainly the vessels of the temporomandibular joint, the arteries supplying the temporomandibular joint will be the arteries lying in close relation with the joint. So which is the artery lying in close relation with the joint? We have already mentioned the superficial temporal vessels, isn't it? The external carotid artery when it enters the parotid gland it divides into superficial temporal and maxillary artery. So the superficial temporal artery will be going and supplying the temporomandibular joint as well as the maxillary artery. Maxillary artery also will be supplying the temporomandibular joint. So superficial temporal and maxillary artery these are the two terminal branches of external carotid artery which you get inside the parotid gland and the parotid gland we have already mentioned it as the lateral relation of the temporomandibular joint. So these two arteries will be supplying the temporomandibular joint.